Hey there, Bulldog Country. This week we're talking with senior captain Bo Bofferting on the UMD football team about the team's homecoming game this weekend. For UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Porrick flipped it in there. Aya Fala went to the net. They combined to get Hi, my name is Bo Bofferting. I'm a senior captain receiver for the University of Minnesota Duluth. Um, my major is public health education and promotion. So it's no secret that the Bulldogs have been on fire lately with the last five weekends. You guys are on a five game winning streak. What would you attribute to that success so far? Uh, you know, these last five weeks, the team has really came together. Um, you know, kind of starting off on the wrong foot in the, in the season opener. Um, yeah, the guys that came together, um, you know, we realized we got our backs against the wall. We can't really afford to um, lose another football game this season if we want to reach our ultimate goal in winning a national championship. Um, two losses doesn't sit very well with that, so um, we kind of have our backs against the wall. We'd like to think a bit, but um, you know, every game we treat like it's you know our last. It's like a playoff game, so it's a, a must-win. So, going back to that season opener game against Southwest Minnesota State at the beginning of September, not every college athlete gets the opportunity to play in front of their hometown. How was that experience of kicking off the season in Marshall, Minnesota? Getting a chance to kick off in your hometown against a good football team is um, something very special, for, special to me. Um, something I look forward to all year, prepared for. Um, you know, getting a chance to go back home, which I don't too often, to play in family and friends. I necessarily don't get a chance to play in front of every Saturday. Um, it was it was a special night for sure, despite the loss. But um, it was good to go back home and you know see some family and friends I haven't seen in quite some time. Um, you know, uh, you know, finding out in February, like I said, it's it's something I'm prepared for year round, and um, had had a blast. You know, it was a fun game, fun atmosphere, and um, to see everyone again. So, and as you mentioned, with losing that first game of the season, how would you say the team has adopted an attitude of approaching each game, um, maybe with the intensity of a playoff game? Mm -hmm. or would you describe it? Yeah, um, you know. Our ultimate goal here is to win a national championship. Um, you know, starting off on the wrong foot right away, um, we realize we can't afford to lose another game if we want to get to that national championship. Um, so um, since then, we've really came together as a group. And, you know, like I said, we've kind of had our backs against the wall. Um, we're kind of approaching approaching and attacking each game in practice as if it's like a playoff game. Uh, it's like our last opportunity. So um, saying that, we just got to, you know, stay hungry and humble, you know, um, you know, just treat every opponent the same. You know, uh, you know, the schedule doesn't get any, any easier from here, so we just got to play our best football as the season goes on. To describe you as a multi-talented player would be an understatement. You serve the team as both a wide receiver and running back, and also perform on special teams as a kick returner. Out of all these positions, which would you say are your favorite to play? Uh, it's a tough question. Um, playing all three positions, you know, for a few years now, I'd probably say my favorite probably be the the receiver position. Um, probably that's what I'm most comfortable with in our offense. I've got most rep repetitions at that in my collegiate career. But, um, you know, Coach Weez and Coach Polly, um, they feel like I'm an offensive threat anywhere on the field. So they've kind of schemed up some, some good situations for me to kind of throw me at receiver and running back and, you know, put me all over the field to try to keep, create mismatches. And uh, uh, it's kind of worked out for us. So it's been fun. As not only a senior, but a captain this year, how would you describe the feelings you have as you approach your final homecoming as a Bulldog this weekend? Uh, emotional. Um, you know, these five years have gone extremely fast. Um, I think a lot of guys can say that. But um, for me, I'm just trying to cherish every moment, um, really soak everything in, because, you know, I realize not every person gets to play college football, especially at the University of Minnesota Duluth. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm having a great time. You know, I'm taking it all in. I'm hoping it slows down a little bit, but, um, you know, with homecoming week, uh, it's very, very exciting Good to bring back alumni and some family and friends. So it um, should be a good game on Saturday. Looking forward to it. How would you say the past few seasons at UMD shaped you into the player and leader you are today? Yeah, you know, coming into college, um, you know, as an athlete or not, it's a big wake-up call. Um, for me, I kind of had to grow up really fast, um, which is a good thing for me. But um, these last few years, of you know, I've – 
just like any other player, I've been coached very hard, um, which I think is tremendous. So, um, you know, I give credit to our coaching staff for, um, you know, helping me get to where I'm at as a Bulldog right now. But um, to say the least, I've had in the time of my life. Um, it's been something that will, I will remember the rest of my life. Um, you know, like I said earlier, I just hope it slows down a little bit. But uh, it's, it's been a tremendous ride. Um, I'm ha happy to be a part of this team. Kind of going off of that, can you describe a favorite memory that you've had over the past five years as a Bulldog? Um, well, there's a lot for sure, but one that kind of stands out to me is um, our, our first game of the 2014 NCAA playoffs. Um, we hosted North Northwest Missouri State, um, defending national champions. Um, they beat us the year prior to that um, down in Missouri, and they got a chance to come up here as defending national champions. And we knocked them off in kind of a kind of a thriller. So it was it was fun to be a part of. With graduation quickly quickly approaching, what are your post UMD plans? Okay. With graduation quickly approaching, what are your post UMD plans? Uh, some plans I have is to get married in June. Uh, I'm getting married. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, uh, from there, I'll, I'll be moving down to Dallas, Texas, um, pursuing a career in coaching football. Um, and it's kind of from that, going, going, seeing where my career takes me. So uh, it's a very, very exciting time in my life. Um, very humbled by it, and uh, just really appreciate all the support I've, I've, I've had from my experience.